have you ever encountered any national interest to use the service? Yeah. Yeah, but that we learned. We thought like if you give free software to, to people agencies, they would love it. They don't like it. They want to pay for it so that it doesn't work, they can phone someone and blame them. And that's why I see the illusion the illusion of free open source, it doesn't work. Open source doesn't work. People rather pay for something and someone take responsibility for the quality. Yeah. That's also the background why we saw we can't scale this as free. If we would have given it as open source, and we have, and we, we have six copies of these moving bubbles, including Microsoft. But Bill Gates was very fair. He mailed me, invited me to Seattle, and said, why didn't you sell to me? I want this in Excel. It's a very widely used tool, he said, which is pretty correct. Huh? Uh, and, and, and he said, because we didn't want the product, we wanted the service. We, we, we told them, eh? yeah, but I've always told them to do this. And the head of research of Microsoft have showcased the bubbles, but they don't manage to get it in. It's very tricky to have good interactive visualization for end users and then the interface for those who upload data from this end you know, and to make this both work. You know. And government agencies are still of the idea that they should run the animations on their web page. They think they should compose, they should build the instrument, and they should play the music, but they don't play well. <laughs> and they compose well, but they don't play well. They are not funny, you know? And, 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 and they don't bring it to, so, so it doesn't happen much. So, and the technology is more complicated. It's, and why is it complicated? Why does Google Map work? Because it's longitude and latitude. And if you are looking for caves in Afghanistan, you have to have altitude, you know, or, or houses on Manhattan. Otherwise, longitude and latitude is enough for all archaeological remains, all restaurants, everything you can put in. Whereas public data and economic data stratifies itself into infinity. Because it's age, it's sex, it's company, it's sport organization, it's communes, it is, it's uh, trade data, it's sport. It's so complex. The amount of public data, and 80% of public statistics is trade statistics in the world, when you go there. So to handle that, it's extremely complex. And to create a unified format, it will take a long time to really get it uniform. I had as a model gene bank, because we thought gene bank was so successful. You can find the gene, you upload it, other researchers can use it. We have about every second Nobel Prize laureate in me medicine say, I'm not worthy of this. I just got the prize due to gene bank, because I uploaded my gene, and then someone sent an email and said, this is what we found in the cancer. And then suddenly we understood it. So that you see the value of open sharing of public goods. It's extremely forceful, extremely powerful. And, 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 uh, and, 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 and that should take play of statistics, but it's a long process. Someone, we are just one little uh, stimulation. I rather regard us as a stimulation of what can be achieved. And, and business, Bloomberg and Thomson doesn't want this to happen, so they influence politicians, you know. OECD go out and say the policy of the economy of the internet, the internet with free available public data can change this, blah, blah, and then they sell it themselves. They talk free market, they do Soviet economy. <laughs> it's a shame. The World Bank do the same. The World Bank compile world development indicators. It costs them three to four million US dollars a year, and they sell it and recover not even one million dollars. They are tax funded up to here, and then they recover the price there, just like a Soviet, a Soviet production system. And, 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 and this doesn't work. And to change all this will take a very long time. A very long time. And, and maybe someone comes in with a completely new idea from the side and do it. So it's, it's, it's rather that, that the reason is rather like planting a little oasis in the desert, that's what we have done, and everyone says, oh, what a nice little oasis you have created. But we have not made the change. The change is yet to come. And many of you may, may have a competing idea or something which can join us, but there's a lot of resource out there. And you know, they get wild in there. I, I lecture to all the big, big uh, corporate organizations, and Ikea, you know, and Pfizer, they get, they say, oh, if we could get our business data in from one end of this, and you have the public statistics of that, we will suddenly understand the market in a completely new way. Why doesn't that happen? It's happened because that Bloomberg and Thomson, it's like medieval business models. You know? And it doesn't give the details and, and the way what you can do. So there's a lot of place for innovation in this area. And go there and compete with it. Right, so final brief question. Uh, um, I, I, final I, I, brief answer. Uh, 
uh, I think I was just like uh, was going to ask about liberating data that you, you talked about that. Yeah, it, it, but it's a point. To what level should the public? I mean, you could have sidewalks which are like this, you know, <laughs> and that then the city would not be successful. You know, no one would like to have a restaurant at, uh, where, where people will fall on the sidewalk. So they will go and say, "We don't like this. We want this government money to be used, you know, to put this back like this, you know, and, and then people will come to my restaurant." You know, this is what we have to do with data. It has to be, it has to be even like this, and machine readable, and then you put it up in the new technology. And then you offer the companies to put their data up. But we haven't achieved that yet. Not even within Statistics Sweden, you know, the different divisions doesn't have their data so that it can be compared easily. Because they have a stupid business model. They get government money and then they sell it. So different ministries in Sweden sell data to each other. The Gothenburg Commune, they buy the same piece of data. Oh, it's Comic Con, you know. It's still Comic Con economy. And I think it would be much better if we even out what the government should do. And they are needed. And don't touch, don't think that we should take away gathering of public statistics from the government. That's really what they should do. I know that some, some wild young people in the moderate party, they wanted to take it away in the last government. And then Jösta Boman said, a government without statistic is like a company without bookkeeping. Forget it, he said, you know, and because you need it. You need the st public statistics to run it. But that should be even out, you know, and their, their task should stop there. They can have their own web page, and their own web page should just fulfill. You know, this is quite interesting. Do you think I own this? Is this mine? No. It belongs to the National Bank. If it was mine, I would add a zero immediately. <laughs> because on my own property, I can add any zeros I want, you know, what I see fit. That's why this is an extremely successful concept, you know. And I want data to be the same. You don't mingle with the numbers, you know. But I can use it. I have the right to use it. And I have this amazing right to transfer the use of it. Yes, you see? <laughs> he liked it, you know, he liked it. That's very efficient. That's what the economy is all about. You see, government starting a capital, you know. They both do their, they do their stuff. And then he became kind also, and he gives it back to me. <laughs> so, so it's like, it's finding out that. And that, I think, if we could get to the same level. But that's a technical solution. So then I want the web page of the statistical agency should be like the watermark here. That's where you go check. But where you use it would be this little innovative by that you there at the back row. You got the idea, now you go home and you beat Gapminder, you beat Google, you beat Yahoo. You start your business with this, you know, you find out how to do it. And you should compete evenly with your machine readable. The government should make this available for everyone. That's why Google has a problem here also. They don't want to buy the data and own it. They have a very nice policy because they say their service is not sticky. You know, Google search is not sticky. They have to be the best. Otherwise, Bing and Yahoo will win. Because you, are not, you can go to the other search engine any day, you know, any, any hour, you just switch. It's not like this mail programs or anything right, that you have invested in. So they, want, they don't want to own data. They want really to be the best in making data available. And, 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 and that system we have to get understanding for. Sometimes people have to retire and die before new ideas come in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks. 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 Than